Recently, Canva just came out with a new feature that now allows you to edit videos directly within the platform. And as we know with Instagram, TikTok, and now YouTube Shorts, short form video is all the rave. So let's hop into the platform. I'm gonna teach you 20 tips and tricks along with a couple bonus tips that are gonna allow you to take full advantage of the platform. Now my name is, just kidding, you don't care. Let's hop into tip number one. Now when you first get to Canva's website, there's actually something we're gonna do before we start editing our videos that's gonna make the entire process much easier, not only for the video that we're gonna to make today, but also for every video you do going forward. And that is we're gonna go over here to their brand section and we're gonna make a branding kit. Now creating a branding kit is actually pretty easy. First thing you wanna do is bring in your logo. And what you'll notice is that it automatically actually gives you your color palette. However, one bonus tip here that I recommend is that you should actually put in your own hex code. If you know what a hex code is, put it in. If you don't, just let Canva look at your logo and create your branding kit there. But another big tip here that I like to recommend is to also go ahead and upload your fonts. As you know, as creators, you wanna keep all of your videos on brand. So it's important that you go ahead and manually upload your font. So that way you can have that there. I'm also gonna go ahead and add all of my other variations of my logo, and now I'm ready to start editing my video. And trust me, you're gonna see later on how these two tips alone are gonna make your life so much easier. Now, what we're gonna do here to edit this video is we're gonna launch a brand new mobile video. I strongly recommend choosing a mobile video versus something like a Instagram story because with a mobile video, it'll actually take us into the video editing portion of Canva. Now, another big tip I have here is that you can use keyboard shortcuts within Canva. And so like the letter T will allow you to bring up that text box and you can see once I actually go into changing my font, that font that I added from my branding kit is already there. The next tip here is another keyboard shortcut. So if you use Option on a Mac or Alt, you can click and drag and actually duplicate certain elements within your actual edit. So now the next tip here has a lot to do with bringing your content into Canva. Now you can see up in the top left corner, there is a button for uploading. However, if you have stuff in another window, you can literally just click and drag and you can bring that directly into your video. Now I'm going to retime this and then I'm gonna click on these three little dots up here and I'm gonna be able to choose to duplicate. Now what I'm duplicating is the entire frame here, which if you think about like your video as individual clips, I'm basically duplicating that clip. Now the reason why I'm duplicating this one here is so that way I can actually just grab another image and drag that in. And so I can keep duplicating and literally just keep dragging and dropping these images in. And that's another tip is that you can just drag and drop your image over top of another image and it will replace that image for you. So that's just gonna make everything run a whole lot faster. I'm just gonna retime all of this really quickly. And so now I have something that's looking a lot better. Full transparency, I do think this looks a little bland. So I'm gonna spice this up by using some of the elements within Canva. So I'm gonna grab this shape. And then if you go up to the top left corner, you'll see that on some elements, you do have the ability to change the color. And so you can see when I click on this little color swatch here, my color of my brand is already here because of that branding kit that we made. So as you can see, if you take the time to build the branding kit before you get started, it's just gonna make the entire editing process so much faster and so much easier. But I'm gonna go ahead and move that behind my image and probably should have done this before I duplicated all of these. So I'll just kind of quickly speed through these so that way I can kind of help make these images pop a little bit. But now you can see it's looking pretty good. Okay, now if you're like me, sometimes you can struggle with like finding inspiration for creating some of your video content. And this is one of the, honestly, this is probably my favorite feature that Canva has is all of the pre-made templates. So I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna type in the word fashion. And you can see that there are tons of templates. And actually, I think this one right here looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one in. And you can see, again, I'm just dragging and dropping my image in. I'm just gonna resize this. And now this is a big tip and a nice little feature that Canva has. And this doesn't just work with photos. It actually works with video content as well. But you can do a full background removal. And so I can just click here and you can see that it quickly removes the background for my subject. And even though the background was white and her shoes were white, Canva still did a really good job at removing that background, even though I'm gonna end up cropping her feet out of the photo anyway. Now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna start adjusting some of this text and you can see I'm using my branding kit for that. But now I need to change this background. And again, I'm gonna find another element within Canva in order to help me with that. So I typed in the word background, but a nice little extra tip here 
is that if you go up, you can actually change it to where it only shows you vertical backgrounds. So that way you don't have to resize anything to work for your video. And so now I'm only looking at vertical options. And I think this one right here looks really good. So I'm gonna drag that in. I'm gonna move that to the very back. And now you can see my image is still out in front. And now I'm gonna do that drag and drop feature in order to change out these images. Now in this one image right here, I actually think this gentleman's a little too small for this image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on it and you can see I can resize him, but he stays within that frame. That way I don't have to worry about like rechanging anything or cropping it. And so I'm just gonna resize him here and perfect, I think that looks really good. Now I'm gonna grab, uh, let's add a border. So I'm gonna grab a border here and I can grab this border and bring it in. You'll notice that with this border, it actually doesn't give me the option to change the color. However, that doesn't mean that we're at a complete loss. So another tip is that if you go up here, you can click on edit image and there are tons of filters you can use. And some of these filters will allow you to add sort of color overlays. And so because this border is technically an image and not like a shape, I'm gonna use this effect in order to actually change the color and get it closer to being on brand for me. And now if we play this back, it's looking pretty good. I think I like this a lot. So not only did the template give me just a little bit of direction on where I wanted my assets to go, but it also helped put these animations on automatically. But I do need to make a few more changes because obviously this is not done yet. Now one thing you can do, kind of continuing with those keyboard shortcuts, is you can just click on a section and hit delete. And now I'm gonna go up here and grab my own branding kit. So I have my logo and I'm gonna bring this down here as well as I'm gonna change out the text that says link in description. All right, so we're gonna play this back and perfect. That looks really good. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wow, that edit looks pretty good, but that merch looks extra crispy. Well, then I strongly recommend you check out the merch here on the channel. Those are all linked down below. We have the Anti-Editing Editing Club, along with our filmmaker and editor merch. We have hoodies, sweatshirts, and tees, so be sure to check that out all down below. All right, now I do have a few more tips I wanna show you, but in order to show you these tips, we're gonna create another video, uh, gonna create some more ads for this merch. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go find some inspiration. Uh, so I'll go up here, I'll type in the word close, and there's all these nice templates, and I'm just gonna start dragging in some elements. And you can see one of the first things I'm doing is I'm just gonna adjust some of these assets that are already here. And man, that branding kit, it is helping out so much. As you can see, I can quickly change my colors. But one thing that's actually really nice is that when you're going into your color palettes, that Canva will take the colors from the content that you put in and give those to you as options. So as you can see, because they're picking up this image that I dropped in here, it's giving me the gray of the background, the brown of his skin, the black from the hat, the blues from his shirt. Really, really nice if you wanna to try to keep things on brand with different colors that you're photographing, but I'm actually gonna just keep with the gray. Now, I do wanna put a border around this because currently I think this looks a little too bland. And okay, so something that I have noticed within Canva is that sometimes the borders just don't actually fit. Uh, so I'm actually gonna find another border and see if hopefully I can make that one fit. Okay, so this one's not really fitting either. So I actually have a creative tip that'll allow you to kind of get around this. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna size this the way I want it and then I'm gonna duplicate it. I'll also change the color of it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna crop this border, one on each side. So now I have a border that actually fits. And so you can see it already fits here nicely. I'm gonna go up here to the animate area and you can see that I can actually animate the entire clip as a whole, but now I'm actually gonna bring in another asset. So this is just a screenshot that I took on my cell phone and I'm gonna go up to edit image and I'm gonna pull in one of these iPhone borders because it just makes it look better. Now, one nice little tip here is that you can export a screenshot image as a PNG with the iPhone border around it. And it's just kind of nice to have for your marketing purposes. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring this in. And now I'm gonna use the command and scroll wheel in order to sort of zoom in and out of my image as a whole. And the benefit here is that I know I'm gonna be making some edits, but I wanna be able to see the entire thing. So I'm gonna resize my phone, I'm gonna drag it up, and then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna find a gradient 
and I'm gonna drag that in. Now you'll notice right now this gradient looks like there's nothing going on, but if I actually edit the gradient, you can see that I can bring in those colors on it. Perfect, so this is looking really good. Now we're gonna go over here, click on these three little dots, and we're gonna play around with some transitions. So Canva does give you transitions, which are really nice. And not only do you get awesome looking transitions, but also that branding kit that we made is helping us out with those transitions. Now, another awesome feature that Canva has is the ability to bring in these text effects. There are freaking tons of them. So I'm just gonna pick one that I personally like, and I'm gonna use my branding kit in order to make sure that all my colors are on point. Use that T key in order to bring in the text font. I'm gonna grab an image, put that as my background. And let's go find a template that looks good. I kind of like this, but actually, never mind. I don't like any of that. I'm just going to delete everything there and kind of start from scratch. All right, now I do like this ending here. So I'm going to grab this and bring this over. Now, if you want to be able to move and manipulate certain elements as a group, you can absolutely do that within Canva. If you click and hold down Shift, you can click on all the elements that you want to select. Then you go up here and you click on Group and it will actually group all of those things together so that way you can make those adjustments. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna actually go in, I'm gonna get rid of that background. I'm gonna take these different jackets. I'm going to adjust them just ever so slightly, group those together. So now as I move them around, they will move together. So now let's take some of those elements that we already learned and let's just sort of just spice up this video just ever so slightly. Let's add some animations and Boom, that looks, that looks pretty good. Now you can obviously spice this up even more if you're using videos. We're just using photos that we took in order for these demonstration purposes, but you can do all of this with videos as well. Now, before we get out of here, let's go over two quick bonus tips that is gonna allow you to get even more out of the content that you're creating within Canva. The first one is that you have the ability to copy slash duplicate any project that you make and repurpose it for other platforms. So you can go in here and you can just click and you can see that it gives you the option to change the dimensions for different social media platforms. So if you wanna take what you already made, turn it into a square, you can do that. And that way you can take a video that you edit and now use it across different apps. The other thing that I love here is that you can also come up here to the top and you can choose to create a template link. Now, what a template link is gonna allow you to do is basically save your edit as a template, which then means now you can come back and basically edit other videos with all of the exact same elements like the animations, the timing, the different like image placements, all of that will be saved as a part of your template. And so each of those are going to allow you to create way more content in the future. And if you did everything like I taught you from beginning all the way to the end, you'll have your branding kit in there as well, which is just gonna help you to make more content a whole lot faster. Now this video is actually not sponsored by Canva. However, if you do wanna support the channel, I actually have two ways you can do that. First, you can either check out the merch down below in the description that you've seen throughout this entire video. If you're a creator, it's right there for you. But then also, if you are a creator who's looking to learn more about filmmaking and video production, then I strongly recommend you checking out our training course platform, the Creative Fam Academy. It's a platform that I personally created for creators in order to teach them everything they need to know about the world of video. We teach everything from lighting to how to get cinematic shots. We're actually gonna be releasing new content every single month. So the content platform is constantly growing and it is definitely a place for you to go if you are trying to up your video and content game. So that is gonna be linked down below in the description. So definitely check that out. Honestly, it's wild just how much you can actually do within Canva. It's such a powerful tool. But I wanna say thank you to all of the members of the Creative Fam Academy who help make videos like this possible. You guys are awesome. If you wanna help support this channel so I can keep making videos like this and just keep educating you guys here on YouTube, then definitely check out the links down below to help support. But until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.